Hi everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to talk about a uh, custom uh, JavaScript variable within uh, Matomo Tag Manager which correspond to uh, what you will uh, have to create when you click over here and you select custom JavaScript. So just a use case in order to show you this uh, given variable and how you can play with it. Uh, for the sake of this example, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to pick up uh, one given website, for example this one, and my wish is to collect all the values which correspond to the uh, which correspond to a H2 on the page. So to say I want to get a list of all uh, the different H2 which are on the page. So here as you can see that's not an H2. Uh, but if I look on the page H2 I would like to get uh, this one. So for example, the value M2MD, I would like to get as well uh, this one and, and so on and so forth, as many as they are on the page. Um, in order to make this uh, use case real, what I did is um, I contacted a friend of mine, so Lucas Winkler, that most of you uh, know very well, and that's... Um, uh, that's uh, push me the following uh, code. So uh, when I explain to Lucas what my wish is to collect all the H2 and push them as uh, values, he uh, show me the following code. And in fact, this uh, given code won't be useful for you because when you click here on custom JavaScript, as you can see, Matomo expect to see um, JavaScript function return this way. So I had to ask back uh, Lucas uh, what to do and then he provided me with uh, the following uh, code in which you get the function over here and here you get the return. So uh, when you look through the code, it's kind of the same. It's just it's adapted here and here. And what it's going to do is that it's going to go through the DOM of the page, going to grab the elements by their tag name equal h2, and then going to put them uh, within a variable called names. And here you have uh, the loop system in order to just grab the text of every H2. So what you need to do is that you just need to copy uh, this parse out. Here you need to paste it over here and here you need to give it uh, an explicit name. So in my case, I'm going to call it H2 and I'm going to create my variable. Once the variable is created, so it's going to grab all the values, I just need to decide where I'm going to insert it. So in my case, I'm just going to put it at a page view level so i'm just going to create um, a page view tag over here and gonna add it uh, as a, a configuration variable in which i will add as a, as a dimension uh, value one so i already created it uh, before i'm just gonna assign it the value the value name h2 so it's gonna be uh, the one that i just created here so it's gonna populate the custom dimension with the value composed of the list of all the h2 on the page uh, that's just for the sake of an example of course uh, you will probably adapt it according to what you want and then you can just uh, select the condition so when the page view is loaded then I'm going to work. So uh, here I did it. I'm not going to publish it straight away. I prefer to use the preview mode just because it helps me see uh, the value of the variable. So I'm just going to uh, copy that pass out. I'm just going to go over here. Uh, by the way, the debug mode uh, that you can see over here, I mean the uh, developer console will be very useful because if you apply the first Code that I was showing you here, uh, probably you will see error appearing here telling you that the JavaScript is not working. Uh, in my case, it seems that it's, it's working. Just gonna look at uh, which page view uh, fired the Matomo analytics tag, which is the following one. And if I look through the variable, I will get uh, the H2 part, uh, nowhere, yeah, over here, as you can see. So the custom JavaScript function is working, it's just grabbing the value uh, that I want and creating the list exactly as I wanted. So Lucas made like a wonderful uh, job, everything's working, and now I can look through the dashboard. Uh, so in my case, I just want to select the local host one to which I'm pushing the data to. And then I can look through the visit log and see, as you can see, that I get a custom dimension which is filled in with the different values. 